Welcome to the resting place of Alice. This is going to be a ghost story. We're here in Polly's Island at All Saints Church. Cemetery. Very old, very southern, very beautiful cemetery. Look around this place. Trees, the vegetation, the craftsmanship of these headstones. You don't see this anymore in modern cemeteries. If you're from this area, or grew up in this area, whatnot, you know who Alice Flagg is. A urban legend of a ghost of a young girl named Alice Flagg. So as urban legends go, these are stories that are passed down through word of mouth, traditionally, before the, uh, the internet has documented everything. Due to the nature of this being an urban legend, I'm not going to Google it and tell you what the official story is. I'm going to tell you the story that I heard that was passed down to me as a, as a young person growing up here. And if my story is different than yours, cool. That's the point. That's an urban legend. It's a little bit different for everybody. So our story begins, there is a young woman, part of a relatively wealthy family here in the South. This woman uh, begins to be courted by a young man who is not wealthy. And her family doesn't like this. When I say her family, I mean her brother. Her brother says, uh -uh. you are not gonna marry or date or do anything with this pauper. This guy is not part of our social status, so you are not going to be associated with him. So Alice, of course, is heartbroken. And she says, you know what? You're not the boss of me, you're just my brother. So Alice and this young man court each other for a period of time, secretly, secretly, until she comes down with a sickness. Alice becomes ill with scarlet fever. She is bedridden. She can barely move, so who better to take care of her than her doctor brother? He's a doctor. So her brother comes down to Alice's home. I'm here to take care of you. Now, what Alice has not told her brother is that she was still seeing the young man that her brother told her not to see. But here's where it gets very interesting. The young man that Alice was seeing proposed to her and gave her a ring. Ring. But Alice, being very secretive and sly, put her ring on a necklace around her neck, keeping it secret under her clothing. When her brother came to take care of her, he discovered the ring while doing a, a physical on her. He was furious. In his rage, he took the ring, threw it out the window, out into the marshes, the wetlands, the woods, whatever it was behind this wealthy family's home. He was so furious at Alice. He just stopped taking care of her and she passed away. Alice passes and she passes aware that her brother had removed the ring from her necklace and thrown it out and, and disowning her from the family, disowning her and letting her die. Now, just to show you how serious this guy was about disowning his sister, look at this. He buried his sister, according to the legend, with nothing more than her name on the stone. No last name, no dates, just a stone. Now, when you look at this stone, you might notice something. There's no grass around it. No grass. But... We look out across the rest of the cemetery, plenty of grass. Here's where the ghost story starts. This story takes a dark turn here. They say that when Alice passed, she was heartbroken and she wanted her ring back. That was her only comfort in death, was that ring from her loved one. In death, they say she's still looking for her ring. Actually, let's take a look at the stone. I believe there's a ring down there right now. Right there. Someone has actually left a ring. Be it a toy ring, it's still a ring. So what people do is they bring a ring, whether it's their own or a, a present, and they leave it on the grave. They say you do this at night. You walk around the grave 13 times. Notice no grass from people constantly walking around this grave over the years. 
and Alice will show herself and move the ring or take the ring or or you'll see her. That's how the story goes anyway. Now of course as as a youth I had come here and I had put a ring on the grave and I have walked around it. So have many of my friends, younger friends at that time. And I will say I did not see Alice. The ring didn't move. A little disappointed. Now I'm older, maybe a little bit wiser. Uh, the verdict's not in on that one yet. I will say that I will not be putting a ring on there and walking around it today. Not because I'm afraid of any ghostly activity, but there's a person under there. Whether the story is real or fabricated, someone's buried down there, and I've come to the realization that's a little disrespectful. All these stones, all these graves, are people. They had lives. They loved, they hated, they quarreled. They had the things they cherished. They had their memories. And they have loved ones. And I'm gonna respect that. I'm not gonna make a mockery of Alice. Whether that Alice was a young woman or an old woman, I don't know. There's no date. For all we know, this story is completely fabricated. But when it comes to urban legends and local tales, this is one that almost everybody knows. The story of Alice Flagg. I love this old gate <clears throat> and this old brick wall, very cool.